Welcome, viewership, to another edition of Final Fantasy VI T Edition. This time, let's search for Terra. Let's begin. Since last time, I did a bit of grinding, and that's why we are in the northern part. Don't be concerned about continuity otherwise. We can't let the world become too peaceful, don't you see? People shine their brightest when they're at war! My Colosseum will be a monument to the glory of battle. If I can ever finish it, that is, no one will help me. The party chosen is Gao, because I wanted to learn rages, Locky, because I wanted to steal, and there's a story segment nearby which requires his presence, and Seals for runic use. Sounds like Terra to me. We meet again. I could lend you a hand. Just need enough to feed my dog. Say, 3,000? Deal. And I brought him along because I want him to you uh, to gain Twin Fangs. So yes, we're doing this party for the achievements. What? Alright, let's see what he has for us. Sure. Sure. Do one thing to do the other thing. Please, it's a gift. Shusha? What? It's a type of status in the item.
Yeah, I like being immune to a bunch of bad status effects. I was a partner. You should be here with me. Join me, Clyde. Join me. That's also related to why we have Shadow in the party. Ah, I couldn't protect her. today it's almost your uh, it's almost your birthday I assume it's supposed to be an amazing treasure hidden somewhere in this mountain we're gonna go find it okay look out Rachel <laughs> Your fault, Rachel lost her memory. Wait, wait, just let me talk to her. Please, just go away. I don't know who you are, but my parents get upset whenever you come here. start on it. With you here, she can't even do that. A year went by. When I finally returned, 
I found that Rachel had been killed in an Imperial attack. Mary had returned just before she died. The last thing she said was my name. I never should have left her side. I, I failed her. And that's why, Seals, I said what I said, and I meant every word. And that's why we brought Loggy to this town. what happens when you walk behind Figaro Castle. Don't worry, we'll fix this for revisions. And yes, this is the search party for Terra. Not sure if other interesting dreams are plot locked, but Or they're just locked uh, to a specific location in the world. I just remembered that I missed out on something which is probably important for us to do about now. We're heading back to Colin. By bird. After we handle this town. Telling us it's all bad. Is the auction house available to us? Nope, not yet.
Interesting that it would tell a guy that he is the spitting image of a gal. But okay. Before we do that, we will take one more sleep break. Just to ensure everyone's at full resources. Yahoo! We did it, Clyde! A million kill. What a blast. This is the life. Guess it's time we start thinking of a name, huh? A name. <sighs> All good bandit duos need a name. I uh, sort of have one in mind. Well, let's hear it. Yeah, the Shadow Bandits. Yeah, what do you think? Not bad, eh, Clyde? The Shadow Bandits. Great train robbers of the century. If they're so poor, how could they found a town? I don't know. Don't think too hard. There's this house. It's actually... Daryl's tomb. Huh. I was not expecting that. Sort of. Okay. I'm a fiend assassin! 
Go look up Rapture's Final Fantasy V in a nutshell if you want to understand the context. Do you mind skipping this building? Ah, uh, we're kind of looking for someone. For me, but not my problem! Wait, we're just... No time for questions or answers! Let's begin! I was wrong! As I expected! I can't splice all of you! Ha! Did you really believe me? I'll catch you next time! I'm not sure what this line is meant to be, but I think it's meant to be the welfare office.
And now, the port part is a child that I simply did not get. I didn't realize that I had to just push forward. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be in the way. Let's not make any, any trouble here. So why don't I just let you pass? Also known as Die Peasants. Who are you? 
This girl is your friend, I presume. Tara, is she all right? So, her name is Tara. Tara, you say? How fascinating. Her, lo her life is in no danger. She simply used a power she didn't know sh that she had, and it overwhelmed her. Now, her body won't listen to what she's telling it to do. As for myself, I am Rama, the Esper Rama. You're an Esper? Don't Espers live in another world? That doesn't mean there's anything stopping us from living in this world, also. Espers come in a variety of forms. My appearance is similar to your own, so I can live here as one of you, without fear of anyone discovering the truth. Why hide the fact that you're an Esper? Humans and Espers are fundamentally incompatible creatures. But my grandma told me that humans and Espers once lived side by side. Of course, that was only a bedtime story. No, that was no fairy tale. That was the truth. Humans and Espers once lived together in harmony. At least, until the War of the Magi. Until the War of the Magi? It took place long ago. Espers fought humans who had been infused with magical powers extracted from other Espers. After the meaningless war had ended, the Espers fashioned a new realm to which they exiled themselves. They feared that if they remained in the human world, it would only be a matter of time before their powers were targeted again. But one day, about twenty years ago, humans stumbled upon the entrance to that hidden realm. Humans who knew them, who knew of Espers and the secrets of our powers. And thus began the hunt, for Gestal, the leader of the men, knew that he could use the powers extracted from us to create an invincible army. As soon as we realized what was happening, we erected a massive gate and forced the humans out. Those who were, who were captured are now in the Empire's Magitech Research Facility, being drained of their powers. I nearly escaped that same fate, and now I am here with you. She seems to have calmed down a bit. I called Terra here to me when I sensed that she had lost control. She responded to that call. So, Terra and Esper? No, she's a bit different from us. She looks like she's in pain. She's afraid of what she is, and that is a painful thing. What can we do to help her? Once she understands her true nature, the fear and doubt should subside. Is there nothing we can do? The others of my kind who are 
who are trapped in Gestahl's Magitech research facility might be able to help her. And if we can get inside that facility, you're sure? You're sure we'll find him? The Magitech research facility? Your people are in there? I escaped alone, abandoning my friends and hiding here like a coward. But I fear I can remain here no longer. <sighs> what do you mean? Gestalt's methods are mistaken. You can't drain an Esper's powers by force. That merely weakens them. Only when we become Magicite, or Magicite, or Aurasite, can our powers be transferred in full. Uh, so what are you saying? I'm going to turn myself into Magicite so that I may lend you my strength. Uh, what do you mean by Magicite? Magicite is an Esper's power in its purest form. When an Esper dies, Magicite is all that's left behind. But... These are my companions who fell when we fled the Empire, and I will give you my power as well. Old man, really gone now, aren't you? He turned himself into magicite. <sighs> he gave up his life to help us. Why would you do such a thing? If our power is used for destruction, the skies will darken and life will fade from the earth. You must stop them. There must not be a second war of the Magi. <sighs> Obtain the Magicite Rama. Thus ends today's episode. Enjoy. And with one more note. This next section, I'll be going through twice. Once with the... Once with the... Story party, and then again off camera with the... Party that I intend to bring into the Magitech Research Facility. So, thank you viewership, good night, and God bless.